Now, at total of uh, 485 newly qualified associate chartered bankers and uh, of micro uh, finance certified bankers have been formally admitted into the associate ship and also microfinance certified bankers categories of the Chartered Institute of Bankers. Delivering his keynote address, the Chief Executive Officer of Stolen Bank Fields, Abu Bakr Sulaiman, charged inductees to have clarity of purpose uh, in order to sort eye in their banking careers. Plus, we could respond to love for your uh, was there and followed in this report. It is a 2024 Stream 1 Graduates Induction and Prize Awards Day of the Chartered Institute of Bankers. The ceremony saw 336 newly qualified chartered bankers and 149 microfinance certified bankers inducted, having successfully completed the CIBN's professional examinations in 2023. Affirm before my family, friends, and colleagues. I will adhere strictly to the code of conduct in Nigeria banking industry. In a lecture titled Ethics and Professionalism, a prerequisite for building sustainable careers and institutions, the keynote speaker, Abubakar Suleiman, harped on the need for the inductees to keep to the ethics of the profession and embrace integrity as the watchword. The virtue of being a professional in an employee state of that is not a roadmap to billionaireship. Unless you are a thief. And you're not. Because you wouldn't bother becoming certified bankers. You wouldn't bother taking your professional status so seriously if all you are interested in is to make money. So I want to wrap up by saying to you, if you're looking for a purpose, banking will offer you a purpose. In his remarks, Commissioner for Finance, Lagos State, Abayomi Oluyomi, commended the leadership and membership of the CIBN for upholding the legacy of the founding fathers of the institution. Activities, policies, and initiatives of the institute have contributed immensely to the furtherance of professionalism and promotion of ethical standards in the banking sector as well as the financial and economic space in Nigeria. Your collective efforts to be Africa's foremost and the most influential professional body that is primarily focused on capacity building has continued to make significant impact as can be seen in the high level that Nigerian banking and financial sector occupy in Africa. Earlier in his welcome address, the president, chairman of council, CIBN, Ken Okbara, said the day marks a significant milestone in their journey of becoming professional bankers. Short of saying that there's no shortcut to having to build a structure. On that day, ethics and professionalism stand as pillars within the financial services industry and the entire ecosystem, serving as a bedrock upon which trust, reliability, credibility. Meanwhile, one of the newly inductees, Vincent Tochuku, described the day as a dream come true. One must have a purpose uh, if, you, if you really want to achieve much in life. And uh, the banking industry actually offers a purpose to anyone who desires it. So I think um, if I'm taking away anything, it is the fact that I need to find my purpose and stand with, and stand with it with all sense of uh, commitment, all sense of integrity, all sense of responsibility. Uh, and that is actually uh, uh, my driving force. The CIBN president reminded the inductees that the institute prizes itself as a conscience of the industry. As such, they must ensure that their actions and decisions are rooted in integrity. Love Ikuku Uyedukun, Plus TV News.